Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. So as I've shown before, the primary thing that I make with my 3D printers is miniatures. And I sell those on Etsy. But I've had um, this idea in my mind for a little while. I already have some shipping container style room boxes is what I call them. And they're the miniature size for doll houses. But I have just been thinking about turning those into a bird feeder. Um, the shipping container would have to be modified a little bit. The other, the room box has kind of the front open and this is going to need to have the bottom open. But I've been thinking about it for a while and finally got around to making some modifications to make it work. So I ran the original shipping container on my Mark 3S. At 0.3 draft, it took about nine hours to print and the lid took about five hours. And I did also switch to PETG because I want this to actually go outside and I want it to be a little more durable than PLA. I'm hoping that PETG is enough of a change and I don't have to go with something even stronger like ABS, but this will be an experiment to see that as well. The shipping container itself is about nine and a half inches wide, so it does fit on the Mark III. But I designed a platform for the shipping container to sit on and I wanted it to be quite a bit bigger than the shipping container. So of course I had to switch to the Prusa XL. It is just nine and a half squared, nine and a half wide and deep, but that doesn't fit on the Mark III. So I, I jumped to the XL for this and at 0.32 layer height, it took about eight and a half hours. And again, I used a PETG. Both of these are Prusa Mint. The blue is called chalky blue, and this kind of gray is called urban gray. With the platform, I was trying to go for something that was like cinder blocks or something like that. My GoPro battery dies again, but here is the final result of the base. I designed it so that it could drain if it needed to. Um, the I feel like overall the blocks turned out good. And then I made a little slot so that I can put the shipping container on top of it and I made holes in the corners so that I can hang it. I probably could have tried to just do a color change on the layer, but I was worried that the bridging wouldn't work out very well on these cross pieces. This is the shipping container with the lid, how it turned out. Um, this, this worked really nice. I've printed them a few times, that's the lid. How you can remove it, you'll be able to put in the bird seed in the top like this. I did print a couple of just kind of sample wall pieces so that I could get this tab to work correctly. I did have to adjust it a little bit, um, but I was glad that I had just done those smaller sections and that worked out and so that I can slip this on and I can also be using two different printers to make it at the same time. I really like how it turned out printing overall, so now I just need to add a couple more things. At first I tried to use wire to hang it and I just didn't like the way that it looked. So I went with a chain, I ordered a jewelry chain. It is the right size, it does fit through the holes. I'm not sure that it's gonna be quite durable enough. Um, I did make another little area there so you can wrap it around a tree branch. I think it looks great. I think the chain is really cool. It goes with shipping container and that kind of industrial look. Um, but yeah, I'll have to see if it'll last or if I have enough spacing to maybe make the holes a little bit bigger. And then I would be able to make just a little bit thicker chain work. Fall is probably not the best time to be launching bird feeders rather than the spring. But in Texas, it's still been over 100 degrees pretty much every single day. So it still feels like we're in the middle of summer. And I do want to test this out for a little while and see how well it works. So I think the spacing on the bottom with the bird seed is good. Um, I might have been able to make it just a little bit taller so that it would fall through, but I think it's going to work real well and then it'll continue to, um, you know, refill as the birds eat things. Um, I will have to see too, once I fill it all the way up, um, if the weight can handle it, but I'm really happy with this. I was kind of hoping that it would almost look like gravel with the bird seeds. So I think it turned out cool. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.